so I'm going to bleach my fringe. The other day it was between dyeing my hair purple or bleaching my fringe and as you can see I have got slightly purple hair now so I've decided to do both. So I'm using this dye, I'm, I'm really nervous, <laughs> like I'm, my hair is thin so I'm scared that it's going to fall out. I'm just going to do this front bit here so if it falls out like I can just do a side parting and I mean a side parting is not me in the slightest. Start the application immediately after mixing, two, three minutes maximum, gosh. Best. Sort this out then. The, ah, oh. <laughs> it's not a good start. I'm going to say yeah. Ooh, ooh, that's pungent. Oh my god, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This is oh, why am I so scared to do this? And then shake. Oh, Once it's on, there's no. Oh, it's on. Okay, there's no going back now. Okay. Oh wait. mid to root is that enough do you think that's like far enough up oh my god it's making my eyes water okay there's tears ah I'm bleeding my face Oh my god, if it bleaches my eyebrows, I'm gonna scream. It's in my eyebrow. Oh my god, no. Why is this, why is shit dripping? Oh my god, it's tears, it's tears. That's what's dripping, it's tears from my eyes. Uh, and obviously, it's locked down, so there's no auditions happening. So I thought, well, I've kind of always wanted to dye my hair. Can you see that big chunk of purple on the fucking top of my scalp there? I've always wanted to do something with my hair. So now I feel like it's a best time okay i need to get this shit off my forehead because it hurts i want to look let's see what it looks like already okay yeah it's still brown obviously i don't know what i was expecting <laughs> so, between 30 and 45 minutes so i'm gonna say it's probably gonna be 30 for my hair just because it's thin i know it's dark we've been dyed for 20 minutes so I'm just going to check it and see what's happening under there. Okay, we have some form of colour. Um, how the fuck did I do that? It's like light brown, it's kind of red. Actually, maybe put a little bit more bleach on it. I think I might do my roots now because this looks pretty blonde. Me. Oh, that is red. When I say blonde, I mean orange. Fuck me. <gasps> Scary. Oh no. I really fucking needed a brush for this shit. At this point, anything could happen. Right, I'm gonna wash it out now. Been in there for a good, a good amount of time. It is, it is blonde though. I'm washing it in the sink. This sink is so small. Um, so see how that goes. I'm washing it with this. It's the touch of touch of silver shampoo. Shut up! It's fucking orange. Shut up. There's no way. I thought it was going so well. My mum just FaceTimes me and I'm sitting here like this with an orange fringe. Can I bleach again straight away? Is that a bad idea? <laughs> I'm gonna bleach again. All right, this has been a journey and hopefully it's at the end now because I'm, I've had enough actually. Oh no, oh no, but that looked blonde. Why is it still orange? It's not even 
slightly more blonde, it's just fully orange. It's not even the slightest bit gone blonde. It's literally not gone blonde in the slightest. It is that is fucking orange, that's bright orange. Okay, so <laughs> I've come to the conclusion. The shampoo that I'm using to like keep the purple hair purple is actually like you can use to create soft pastel purple hues on a lighter hair base. Because I think having like a sort of lilac a lilac-y colour in here is gonna look a lot better than the brassy yellowy orange colour. So I'm gonna pop some of this in and then see what happens. And if it looks shit, it's fine because it's shampoo, it will wash out. So this is what it looks like now. You know what? I actually really like how this looks. Yeah, let me just show you the it's still a little bit like blondy orange in the roots, but I don't really mind that. Um, for this week's video, I'm going to be cutting my hair shorter. I'm going to cut it pretty short this week, like like right at my chin. So I want to cut it to my chin, so like about there. And I'm going to keep the rubber band a little higher because I'm going to cut under the rubber band instead of cutting over top. So then when I cut it, it's like comes out straight because usually when you cut it from the top, it's like all curvy. So let's pull it down a little bit more. Just got to cut it fast, not think about it or else if I don't, then I'm going to think about it too much and I'm not going to end up cutting it. Okay, I cut it off. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just ruined my hair. I just messed up really bad. I was supposed to cut underneath the rubber band over top. I forgot. Oh my god. Oh my god, what do I do now? I just messed up really bad. This is so short. I was supposed to cut it down to my chin, not this high. What do I do now? I'm gonna have a breakdown right now. Oh my God. It looks fine if I put it on this side. Like I could just like blend it in with my hair. That looks fine. But on this side, what do I do with this? It's way too short. What did I do? Okay guys, so I just calmed down from my breakdown. I literally had a breakdown for like half an hour now. And I was just looking at myself in the mirror thinking of what I can do to fix this. And I think I'm just going to take it like this. Part it like that, like a side part, and then take this hair, this really short hair, and then I'm gonna blend it in with this hair. So I'm just gonna like add some layers to this hair. And then this side, I think I'm just gonna shave this side of my head off. And then this back part, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna try and blend it in. So I'm gonna take it out like this. Pull it out, and as I'm pulling, I'm gonna take my scissors and cut. So, just like cut it and layer it down. Don't know if that worked. Okay, so I'm gonna grab all my hair. And like tie it up into like a side part kind of thing. And I'm gonna pull it all the way down to about there. And then I'm gonna just chop all this off. Okay. 
Okay, now there's some layers in my hair. Now I'm gonna shave this off. This is how much hair came off. I mean, like, it doesn't look really bad, but it looks bad. Should I just shave it all? Like, this looks so bad. And the layers are not even good. Like, it's so bad. I mean, like, it would suit other people, but I don't think it suits me. Like, this does not look good at all. On me. I'm not gonna shave my head today because... I'm already having bad luck today and if I end up shaving my head off completely then I might cause like I don't know like today's not going so good for me so might as well not shave it and then just like see how it goes for a few days and then thanks guys for watching me ruin my hair yes I sound funny I have my retainers in and of course I'm going to be doing something to my hair this that I have on my hair is Demi Permanent Hair Color. Not permanent permanent, but you can see where my roots are growing. So I bought Color Off today. Um, I've never used this before. I probably should have got two boxes. But let's see how long I'm supposed to leave it on for. Um, 10 to 40 minutes at room temperature. That is a lot of minutes. <sighs> so I was trying to avoid having to use like bleach, but even though that's kind of basically what that other stuff is, But I don't think I'm going to, oh my god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh, oh god, oh. So now, I'm going to mix up some bleach. Yes, I'm going to double process because I'm dumb. This is cooked for a while and my head's starting to burn, so I'm guess then it's probably time to try and wash it out. All right, so showered again, washed my hair again, washed it with purple shampoo. I haven't looked at it, so. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, oh God, oh God. Oh, oh no. I guess it could be worse. Okay, so it's almost midnight and my hair feels extremely damaged, but it's not quite all the way dry yet and I wanna go to bed. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. I'm, I'm really disappointed. I've never like actually screwed up my hair before. This is bad.